come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, even when we record on Sundays. It's still Saturday night, wherever you're listening to this. Yeah. I'm bringing the... the power of Saturday Sunday night night's alright for fighting right? <laughs> right? maybe? I'm Sunday tired Sunday night's a good night for football <laughs> uh, so we're a movie talk podcast where we watch a movie that's chosen round robin every week by one of the Saturday night freak show internet radio superstars including Michaela, Ali, John you right there? <laughs> I don't know what happened uh, this is a 12 year old yes. Michaela <laughs> some changes are happening guys Hi. <laughs> well, I'm Colin. Peter Brady. And, Welcome. Uh, like that and I want to remind you that you can also get a hold of us on social media if you want to write in, tell us how we're doing, what you think about uh, this episode or any other ones that we've done. I think this is like 278. Wow. 79? I don't know. Yeah, wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amazing. And you can get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Tonight's movie was chosen by... Colin. Whoa, that's a tonight? surprise. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> tonight, we watched Rambo 3. Mm, did we? An overlooked <laughs> we 80s action experience, right? Yeah, from the year 1988. So it's celebrating its 30th anniversary. Mm. Can you even imagine? <laughs> and it was directed by a fellow named Peter McDonald after the original director, Russell Mulcahy, who you may know from who did Highlander. He was fired by Stallone two weeks into production. Wow. That right. sounds about wow. right, honestly, for a Stallone movie. Yeah, that's, that's actually surprising. Not surprising. You're doing it right. So you just saw this movie. Is that why the director got font size equal to Stallone's? It was kind of like a fuck you. <laughs> it was kind of amazing. Oh, when like, Stallone's writing credit came out, it took up like huge. half the fucking screen. It was huge. It was and wonderful. like it was like centered on the screen too, you know? It was like you couldn't could mm-hmm. not miss that. Yeah. Yeah. Only the director, I think, also had. I think Rambo 3 was big. smaller. Yeah, I think <laughs> Probably. So uh, I was just talking with Sean. When you're thinking of. 80s action heroes. Look at that imagery, Colin. We were mm. talking about it, and it's right there on the cover. That's right, because I, I mean, think the bandana is part of the thing. The bandana, yeah. Well, yeah. But who comes to mind? A- 80s action heroes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In what role? Commando. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Commando would be the one. Yeah, I, I was going to say Eracer, but I think that was 90s, right? Yeah. I said Predator. Yeah, yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll go with that. And then I, I was like, when was Die Hard? Mm-hmm. Yeah, was, my second was going to be Bruce Willis. It was for two sure. months after the release of uh, Rambo 3. Rambo 3 came out in May and Die Hard, I believe, was July mm-hmm. 1988. Yes, because it's not a Christmas movie. That's right. Yeah, it is. No. We'll have to have to have to dedicate an episode to this discussion at some point. Well, I was really, I was but... just saying it came out in July. It's yep. totally a Christmas movie. You watch it every okay. Christmas. Yep, because right. Christmas movies film. always get released in July. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a Christmas movie. Christmas in July. I mean... That's an actual movie. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, Rambo 3, uh, you just watched it, okay? Uh, there's a lot One of, of uh, explosions people. in this movie. How much you figure this movie cost? It looks pretty expensive, because it, like, is it shot on location? Because it looks... They shot it in Israel. Okay, well, I mean, it's not, it's not like Joshua Tree or something, you know? It's not somewhere <laughs> like the California desert, like, it looks... Right. That alone, I thought, seemed expensive. 1980s so. money. I'm going to say 45 million. I say 20 million. Mm. Yeah, I was going lower on just maybe like 17 or 18. It was shot for 65 million. What? Holy oh. shit! What? At the time that this movie came out, this was the most expensive movie ever made. Shut oh, up! Wow. <laughs> wow. This is all practical. This yeah, is I, was gonna say, I think that's, that's true. You can see it. I think you can see that's all that true. money. So that's fair. All yeah, because there's those wide shots where, like, I was actually had a little flashback to, like, the Road Warrior. Road Warrior has this kind of epic mm-hmm. uh, fort attack where you see all these mm-hmm. cars, like, coming. Kind of, yeah. This does something similar, except it's like a helicopter attack on a, a Afghan uh, camp. Yeah. And it look, you know, it's like, holy shit, there's, like, shit blowing up all over the place. And I kind of have a geography of what's going on. So, yeah. They actually did it for real. Of course, part of the... Uh, deal for Stallone to do this movie is he wanted a Gulfstream jet as part of his payment and he got it. 
I mean, good for him because that's just expensive. So yeah, (laughs) wow. How uh, how good did uh, part two do? That they that he had that leverage to make that demand. I mean, he was Stallone in the eighties. I mean, he could pretty much that's right because you guys weren't here for for around for Rambo Mania. No, okay, no, I was missed out on this. So First Blood, which I would still say is probably one of the top ten, my top ten favorite action movies of all time. And now, like when you watch these movies, it's like. This is what you think First Blood's like, but you go back and watch First Blood, and it's actually a more serious, like, survival, right. you know. And uh, dare I say, uh, a little subtler than yeah, oh, yeah. these movies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good movie. Yeah. Great movie, I would say. Um, but Rambo First Blood Part Two came out, and, like, everybody in, and not just the United States, I think it did huge in, like, Japan, Australia, the UK. I mean, just everywhere that it came out, it was this big fucking thing that summer. It did $300 million in 1985 money. Shit. Wow. Wow. Worldwide. Shit. Wow. Yeah, it was a huge deal. So then there was uh, Rambo everywhere. That's why you have, like, all these Rambo uh, parodies in, like, Gremlins or even Trick or Treat, which came out the year after. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Yep. Everybody had the fucking red bandana. Hot and shots. that was Hot shots, yeah, for sure. Well, Hot Shots Part Two is a like scene for scene parody yeah. of Rambo Three. <laughs> like, see, they even have uh, Richard Crenna playing the Colonel. That he is, gets, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> it's the exact same plot. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Rambo. That's uh, a hell of a gun. Rambo knives, Rambo uh, vitamins, Rambo everything. Time Shit. Magazine did stuff on Rambo Mania, mm-hmm. 60 Minutes did. Then that was followed by the Rambo A Force for Freedom children's TV animated series. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. Wonderful. <laughs> and eventually force Rambo 3. Freedom. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think it's A Force for Freedom. Yeah, it's what it, yeah. He's got like a team. Like, yeah. It sounds like G.I. Joe, basically. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to see it. Voice? Yeah. No. Oh, nope. Don't want to see it. Just kidding. <laughs> did nope. Frank Stallone do the voice? Uh, yeah. Did it look like Stallone? Yeah. Uh, it looks like a guy. You, I mean, when you see it, you're um, like um, Rambo. Well, you know, well, it's, I'm he's a more bare-chested like, dude with a red bandana and long hair. Does he like talk out? Talk out? Half no. of his face. God damn it! He should. No. They should animate that. You're gonna have to ah! look up like the opening to this show at some point and watch it. It's kind of funny. Not right now, but oh, after we'll, we'll put it on uh, on our Facebook page. So Rambo three picks up after the exciting events of Rambo two. Sean, you haven't seen Rambo two. I have not seen Rambo two. The rest of you have, right? <laughs> Michaela just oh, pulled up no. the, I the found the DVD cover for the the anime oh, series. It's oh, pretty. No. It looks pretty bad. Or awesome? No, I don't know. I don't it, remember watching it. Oh, look again. at he's about to fight a snake. Yeah, like snakes again. on all these covers. <laughs> Let me see it again. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah, there's like snakes on all these covers. It, I mean, it doesn't really look like Stallone. Well, it's a kid's show. You can't really kill people. You can kill snakes. Right? I mean, I guess that's a good point, yeah. Actually, yeah, it's a good point. Because these are like mm-hmm. R-rated movies. Mm-hmm. And you make a kid's show out of it. Which I suppose explains why there's a kid the in 80s, Rambo man. 3 as a <laughs> oh sidekick. God. Was there a serial? The names of these are hilarious, though. Like, I kind of want to watch them. Savage Island. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that uh, sounds like a generic 80s action movie. But, like, Savage is an acronym, so I'm curious oh, what that nice. stands for. Oh. It's probably the evil, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, Cobra. A World of Trouble. Enter the Dragon. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, face of Freedom. Snow, snow, snow. I can't read that one. It's too small. So there's a there's a mountain one where he's in snow and there's <gasps> cliffhanger. <it's> <laughs> yeah, is that where cliffhanger came from? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> he got the idea of the Rambo yeah. cartoon. That I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Is uh, well, okay. So Rambo two. So the first yeah. one, basically, he's a psychotic uh, ex Vietnam vet or right. Vietnam vet, right? Who gets pushed too far. Because he'd been and then taking pushes back. and pushes back against a small town sheriff and like blows up the entire fucking town by the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. In the second one, he's uh, in prison and he's given a chance to go back to Vietnam mm-hmm. and locate any uh, POWs that are still there, which is basically a PR stunt. But he finds them and then the government turns on him. Then he has that, you know, grabbing the mic and like, I'm coming to get you. Is, you know, you have to have that in your Rambo movie. Naturally. The murder montage where Rambo, like, jumps out of a fucking tree or out of the water. Or, a murder you know. montage. That's what this was missing. 
It had it in the cave. I mean, oh, mm. was it? I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. Mm. I want to watch Rambo 2 now. I need a good murder montage. Yeah. Rambo 2 is directed by George P. Cosmatos. Oh, yeah. oh Canon Canon film director. That's right, because mm-hmm. he did. Did he Cobra? Do, that's right. But did he do over the top? No, that was no, Mark that was yeah. yeah, yeah. He did Cobra though. Yeah, I was gonna say this is the fifth Stallone movie we've covered. I know this is Hall of Famer. Yeah. Sylvester oh, he, he crossed oh, yeah. into it a while ago. Oh yeah. yeah. And I don't, um, we're done. No, no, we're not oh, no. done. We'll, we'll never we're nowhere done. near we'll never done. done Sean. Until we can get to Rhinestone, we will never yeah, be done. Yeah, it's Stallone forever. Is we did uh, uh, Tango and Cash. Yep. Uh, Cobra. Cobra, Over, over the, the top. top, Demolition Man. Yep. Yeah, and now Rambo and then 3. And now Rambo, Rambo 3. Um, Cliffhanger will be coming. Is this, like, mm. is this Stallone in his peak uh, bodybuilding physical I so. shape? I think so. Or is it Rocky Dude. 5? I, would, I was thinking Rocky 3, Rocky 4. Which one's the where he fights the Russian? Rocky Four. Mm-hmm. That's Rocky Four. Oh, Sorry, Rocky, I said Rocky pretty, Five. I meant Rocky pretty, Four. Yeah, Rocky I th- Four. I think. Mm, I think he's bigger in this than in Rocky Four. Yeah, yeah I think he's he looked like yeah. absurdly seen, huge in this. I've movie. seen Rocky yeah. Four a lot. He's. I think he's bigger in this. His, His muscles more, like, have muscles. Defined. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rocky Four always takes a lot of work. If we're going to talk about Stallone's body, his his veins though are out of control in this movie. Like it looks painful. It made me it made me wonder about the juicing situation because his veins were so like prominent. Very prominent. Well, he uh, what was it? He famously was busted. I think during the making of Rambo Four, he was stopped somewhere wherever they were filming that Thailand, and he had like human growth hormone. Yeah, that'll do it. Apparently legal here, but illegal there. Mm -hmm. Now he looks like a fucking tree trunk. That's why he looks that way. Is because HGH does that to you. Yeah, it makes your skin look like uh like we when you put an action figure in the microwave, like that's what it's HGH a melty, does. Yeah. Do you a little mm-hmm. melty? Mm-hmm. Yeah, all the definition yeah. goes yeah. away, and it's yeah. just like there's no elasticity of, to that yeah. skin anymore, mm-hmm. so yeah. it doesn't go back over the muscle the way uh, it used to. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's why you don't. HGH have... will do that to you. There was one moment when he was under the tank in this movie mm-hmm. where he was like grimacing, and I'm like, oh shit, that looks like current day Stallone. Mm-hmm. And then I realized what it was. And this one, he opens his eyes all the way. Like yeah. a lot. He can't do that his anymore. His eyes are too puffy now. Yeah. 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 He can't do it. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the dude is like, what, 71 years old or something? Yeah. Like that. So, I mean, for being 71, he looks good. He does. For but... being 71, some of the shit that he does in those expendables and Rambo mm-hmm. yeah. is, is amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you just keep thinking about the sprints, but I think he does those fucking. T- Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jogs. That was me. Yeah, you know. I was like, you know, they can't see you, right? <laughs> <laughs> you consider he was like what forty two when this movie was made. So was he? yeah, thirty years. Yeah, I guess yeah. So. I guess it is the eyes. I've never noticed that before. That you're right. His mm-hmm. eyes are like wide open in this movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. lots of Sergio Leone like uh, close ups of his eyes. All the lots time. of a them. lot. Yeah. I, I wanted. I was going to start counting how many times he turned and do. I was thinking frame. the same thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how many times did he? Do yes, it? it's at least three or four, maybe more. I don't know. By like the third one, I was like, oh, we should have been counting. Been <laughs> I know. This is a lot of turning into <laughs> the first one, like the one that intros him, because you just inter- Like I think the commercial for Rambo Two was like just his biceps, mm-hmm. you know, as he's putting the knife in the sure. mm-hmm. the sheath and like tying the, you know. Yeah. What else do you need? You're like, and, I know what that is. Right. It's like I know who this is. The muscle dude. He's and back. then uh, this one's like you know just to intro him, they do the same kind of thing and then he whip turns into the camera like knocks everybody in the audience out because it's so powerful, Mm -hmm. the force of his, you know, gaze. The force of Stallone's Stallone's. And they copied that like second for second for Hot Shots. Charlie Sheen. I think It was was just spot on. Because it starts off in like, in a a kick or no, a stick fighting competition in Mm -hmm. a warehouse in Thailand or something like that. Mm -hmm. And Hot Shots did it where he was putting like candy, broken up pieces of candy or something on his knuckles. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's priceless. It's pretty damn funny. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So Rambo in this one has uh, retired to the peaceful life, living amongst the Tibetan monks. Of Thailand, the Buddha worshiping Buddhists, Buddhist, Buddhist monks, Colin, Buddhist monks. get there. Of uh, <laughs> you're using all these adjectives, <laughs> Buddhist monks. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're there. Uh, He's a man of peace. Now. Do we accept the stick, stick fighting? fighting yeah. Which yeah. makes I was like, what? What is happening here? He's got to make some money. He's got to use his talents to help the other mm-hmm. people. Yeah, but he only does it, you know, so he can give the money yep. to the monks. You know, he's yeah, a violent man. Because realistically, he's not a monk. He's just fixing their house. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't even say that he subscribes <laughs> to the yeah, religion. Yeah, he's their handyman. Yeah, it's just they let me live here. Yeah. Seems reasonable. So I help out. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's uh, tortured, tortured man, because he mm. is a weapon of war. That's what he's good at. Sure. But he doesn't like it. He Who hates does? himself. No. Is this, I, this is like, this, I think this is the appeal of the Rambo character. It may be action movie heroes in general. They're always like really good at blowing shit up, but they hate it. They hate themselves mm-hmm. for doing it. Sure. As long as you have that, you're okay. If you don't, then you're a psychopath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then you're the bad guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As long as you're like, look, I'm really fucking good at this and, you know, really mm-hmm. happy about it. That's... <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So Rambo's tortured, living off and trying to get back to nature and whatever. And uh, his old buddy, his only friend, Colonel Troutman, comes to him because they have a mission that they're going to go off to Afghanistan. Now, this is Afghanistan during the Afghani Russian War. I had no idea this existed. Yeah. <laughs> really didn't know. The height of the Cold War. But, so it was like yeah. a proxy fight for the U.S. kind yeah. of. The Afg- uh, Russians went into, well, they have a long history in Afghanistan, mm-hmm. but the actual war, I believe, started in 79. Um, and America started supplying the rebels through the CIA with uh, Stinger missiles and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically those, the Mujahideen, eventually became the Taliban. Mm. Right. And we know kind of yeah. how that went. Yeah. So this is kind of a, an interesting piece of film history, because also the Living Daylights, the James Bond movie that came out, I think, the year prior to this also took place in Afghanistan, where uh, James Bond was fighting li- alongside the Mujahideen. The Living Daylights. Yes. Uh, Timothy Dalton. Well, no, I never saw it. I've seen like th- three, four Bond movies. Well, it's a pretty good one. I was going to say, how many of those are Daniel Craig Bond movies? <laughs> uh, most of them. Yeah. I was going to say, how many of them were actually think, Timothy Dalton? Because those seem no, to be the ones that people uh, skip over Those a lot. are the worst Probably. ones. No, I, th- I think I saw more uh, Pierce Brosnan ones than anything else. Uh, so because, right, right. Maybe it's been more. Yeah, because 90s. I like, forget that's, about the Brosnan yeah. ones. Yeah. It's kind of just all we had back then. There was no Mission Impossibles and whatnot. It was just Pierce Brosnan. And James Bond was the, uh, you know, like the the Tiffany diamond of the uh, action movie genre. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm, Yes. And on the other side of it, you had Rambo and commando and Pierce Brosnan was the Tiffany diamond of action movies. No, uh, James Bond. Oh, James Bond. Yeah. (laughs) I I said James Bond. I I thought you said Pierce Pierce Brosnan. Brosnan. I was like, wait, I mean, okay. But Pierce Brosnan (laughs) is the most like suave of the bonds. Right. Um, I don't know. Uh, Sean, Sean Connery. Connery. Yeah. 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 I think but Sean the Connery. The problem they all make is they do it too long. They get too old before they quit. Yeah. Pierce Brosnan didn't have that problem. That's true. He just no, went he on was. to things like Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, and Mamma Mia. And Mamma Mia. Yeah. God yeah, help me. Night, Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, yeah? yeah. Drive by Fruiting? The movies yeah. went to Run by fr- Pierce Run Brosnan by fruiting. Before, uh, before he had a chance to get out. <laughs> Die another mm-hmm. day. So, anyway, Troutman goes off to Afghanistan. Rambo says yeah. I have nothing to do with this. Trotman goes off to Afghanistan, gets himself caught. And so it's up to John Rambo to go in and bust him out of Russian gulag. Naturally. Can't get me in. Can't be official. What does he say after that? What's the uh if oh yeah he tells him like if you're found out or caught, we will deny your existence or any participation in this. <laughs> He's like, what do you say? What else is new? Yeah, uh, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, did he say that or did we? are we just making that he up? Said the, he said we both just, of those lines. He did said, he? He said the I first time. I feel like time, he said 20 words this whole movie. He did. He didn't no, yeah, I don't know. One. He didn't have any dialogue like at I all. Mean, I, in the stolen movie, That's I why I'm like, did he really yelling. say that or do we just think that he said that? <laughs> There's a lot of hushed tones, you know, because Rambo's a very. He's a very subtle man, Colin. Oh, yeah. Very. Yeah. Hey, he's got know. demons, Holly. He's haunting. <laughs> he does. He has demons, and I'll never understand. He's got scars on his chest. I get it. And, and his, his heart. heart. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Yep. That should I'm be there. the tagline for this mo- for any <laughs> Rambo for any that Rambo movie. Yeah. This is when we remake it, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. One? Yeah. When we did the f- fifth one, fifth one. Yeah. I heard a rumor that there's the fifth one. Is that true? I mean, last what, blood. Okay. When when Stallone oh, yeah. when Stallone loses confidence in his self or in his career, what does he do? He goes back to he his makes, franchises. Yep. Yeah. It, it, there'll be another one. Hi, Creed Two. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> the time's kind of running out on that clock, though. Good yeah, grief. I know. Yeah. There's a reason he's playing dying Rocky in the new movie. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's like in the first blood movies, are they Rambo movies? They have like the weirdest naming convention. Makes uh, no sense. Yeah. Because you got First Blood, then Rambo, colon, First Blood Part 2, <laughs> then 
by the next one, they're like, well, it could be Rambo First Blood Part 3. Ah, fuck it. They just know what it is. Rambo 3. Right. Yeah. And then, like, 30 years later, he did another one. Rambo, Rambo 4? It's just yeah. Rambo. No, Rambo. It's just Rambo. It's just Rambo. It's just Rambo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like how when he did the new Rocky, it was just Rocky. Yeah. It was uh, yeah. Rocky, Balboa. Rocky Balboa. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I saw, like, the slate for uh, mm-hmm. the new Rambo. It was John Rambo. Mm-hmm. They, well, like, that would have been a better title. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. yeah. Of course, it had nothing to do with his character. He was just kind of, you know, mm-hmm. I'm go up here and shoot a bunch of guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much. The that new was one it. Sucks. All of the movies. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go shoot a bunch of guys. That was the Expendables, too. All mm-hmm. of them. An escape plan. Yep, you summed them all up. <laughs> I'm just gonna call the next one Bo. Yeah. Uh, Rambo. No, it's just gonna be a picture of a knife. It's it just really, gonna be the picture. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna get visual representation yeah. of it. It's just, literally it'll literally we're gonna, just be this cover. Sure there's gotta no be. Yeah, we're gonna well, go. We're gonna go prints with this shit. Just symbols just from symbols, now on. Yeah. The DVD box. Set is <laughs> it'll be just a bandana and a knife, and then yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. Just hieroglyphics. And, and, the, and the tag is like. You know. You know. Yeah. You know the name. You know. You, you know all, the hashtag you already know what this is. James Bond did that. That was Goldeneye. That no, was the okay. tagline. The tagline uh, for right, this right, was right. Uh, the first one was for himself. The second one was for his country. This time it's for a friend. Wow, the stakes just got way lower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were building me up there, and I was just like, what's the third one? It's for a friend. It's like, oh, for, for uh, the where world? do you go after no, the, yeah, world? the world. The Perfect. universe? Nope, nope. Just his buddy. Just the one guy. Uh, Scaling it back. One? Back to kill some motherfuckers? <laughs> the fourth one? Yeah, is there a tag for that one? It's probably like it's been blank did many t- years. Do they tag movies like that. like that anymore? I feel like they don't I put tag on I think it has a tagline, but I can't remember what it is. I love a good tagline. Captain line. Google is I do looking love it up right tag- now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love a good tagline too. Especially when they're bad. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. So if you want explosive action, is Rambo 3 the place to go? I mean, what I, you will get explosive action. Is it the place I would go? Do you get yeah. it as much as you want it? Is it throughout the whole movie? These are these are the questions. Right. Colin. Okay, these what are else the do you have to put these up with questions. before you get to the explosions? Yeah, uh, you get a history lesson in Afghanistan oh. with mm-hmm. minus the religion because mm-hmm. I think that's important. You take the religion out of it, and then basically you're talking about uh, people who are being invaded. And so I think everybody in the world can side with that position. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then, you know, evil Russians. That's mm-hmm. that whole proxy thing. Mm-hmm. And so you got to go in and kick the bully's ass. And yeah. who better to do that than Rambo, who can take down a helicopter with a bow and arrow? Yeah. Goddamn right. That's true. I never really thought about that, but it's like they really do just scale it back to like, let's get Americans on board, leave out other religions, and scary Russians. Mm-hmm. Done. You know yeah. what the problem was when the time this movie came out? Four weeks before it was released, Russia pulled out of Afghanistan. Oh, fuck. Oh, what horrible timing. <laughs> or perfect, or perfect timing, timing. Yeah. Russia. Like, yeah. Touche, you Russia. They marketed this as a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> just been like, the Russians left. Now, find out why. Mm-hmm. Probably Rambo because Green. Rambo was about to beat the fucking <laughs> Afghanis- right? Afghanis at their own sport, whatever the hell that was. They, uh, oh, the, the fucking sport. Quidditch with a sheep or something? Yeah. <laughs> That makes it sound way cooler than it actually yeah. is. Yeah, that's it's true. That's true. It's, it's, guys wrestling with a sheep carcass on horseback. It's polo it with a rings. sheep carcass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. It's more like polo than Quidditch. Sheep. It's true. Mm. I've got the tagline for 2008 Rambo. Here we go. Lay it on us. It's, I'm actually, I'm kind of digging this one. Heroes never die. They just reload. Oh, <laughs> I dig that. Yeah, I'm here for uh, it. I dig that. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm that's, in. That's pretty good for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like I like that. Because you know they're kind of reloading the franchise mm-hmm. at that point. Uh-huh. That's good. That works. It could have yeah, been yeah. Rambo Reloaded. Yeah. Oh, it should have been. That should have been. been. Yeah. yeah There's a little Matrix yeah. thing there. Maybe yeah. Maybe. That's probably why they didn't because yeah they don't want probably. to be associated with probably. that. Probably. You know, I watched that movie again recently because in my I saw it in the theater. This is Ram- Rambo. And I remember uh, this like catastrophic bloodbath. It's the mm. bloodiest of the Rambo movies by far. Um, and I remember it. So I go back and watch it, and like nothing happens for like an hour and 45 minutes. And then there's this awesome like uh, 15 minute ending where he blows the shit out of people. And yeah. that's what you leave the theater with. And you're like, oh my God. You go back and watch it. And it's like he really has like slowed down in his old age. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's not mm-hmm. getting on horses and riding around and shit. Mm-hmm. Doing well, I mean, he's doing riding. some of his own stunts, but well, sure. 
nothing compared to this. But, like no. there was a scene in this where he uh, ran in front of a building like seconds before, like all the windows blew out and shit. And it's Sylvester Stallone. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna say like if there was stunt doubles in this movie, it was pretty well covered up. Because it really it seemed was pretty fucking seamless. Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. I assume the guy who ran under the tank as it was uh, rolling was probably a stunt double because mm-hmm. that was like. Like, the way it was shot, you, you'd think, yeah. The guy runs out right in front of the tread and has to, like, lay down and grab onto the front of it so he can get underneath his tank. Mm-hmm. And it's like, whoa, you mistimed that one, and you're toast, buddy. Yeah, yeah. You're Tom Cruise and fucking... Mm, it would have been what? better if I'd remember that name. <laughs> Mission Impossible? No, what's the fucking movie? Lived I Repeat. Uh, oh, uh, Edge of Tomorrow? He gets fucking crushed by the... The as he's rolling under the tank or the car. Yeah. Edge Forget of tomorrow. everything I said in the past 30 seconds. Just continue <laughs> on with the podcast. I'm just saying things over here. Oi. Um, well, okay. Well, you were talking about like what happens before what the action starts. We yeah. got like an awesome, uh, awesome uh, mm. stick fighting uh, opening. Where awesome. He beats mm. the living shit out of this they guy. They stare that, at each other for a hot well, minute. Because he's got to mm-hmm. work his way back from oh, the killer rage. Yeah. There. Get into so, it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm right there with the. It was, and then. <laughs> It felt like an outtake from Bloodsport. I was it, like, this sounds, this feels like a deleted scene from Bloodsport. Well, it, the movie knows that, like, that there's not going to be another big action scene for like 45 minutes. So it's like we got to front load it with something here, mm. and then do all the place setting of how everybody gets into where they are. We got to get Rambo across the border. We got to get him over to uh, the camp of the Mujahideen, and then uh, there's a big. Um, I think actually, like, there's it, like that's pretty much where the action movie starts because there's the super exciting horseback whatever the hell quidditch with a sheep carcass right yeah and i thought if that way i'm like this is the action scene like this is what we're getting we waited this long and this yeah. is what's gonna be our big action scene yeah like because i they're really taking it seriously him trying to play that game yeah, yeah. I'm like the, wow okay the movie grinds to a halt to explain to us how this game works and watch him play it yeah like, and i thought he was just gonna play and that was gonna be it thank god it actually like turned into something because i was mystified i, was, I, know. I was surprised. what are we they doing they were way into it they yeah they have the moment where he's like totally gonna win this mm-hmm. but then the russians show up with the helicopters and blow the living shit out of the compound and i'm yeah. like oh it's the save face of the you know because i mean Otherwise, you know, Rambo's coming uh, in and going like, this. this is the first time I played this game and I totally kicked your pansy asses, you know. You can't have that. So. That was like a Stallone Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <game. Yeah. laughs> so the Russians come in with their fucking helicopter, attack helicopter, Sean, they blow the living shit out of this place. Indeed they do. I thought it was awesome. I said this a couple times during the movie, but it seems like either the director was on, it was on his game for the choreography or the editor was just picking the shots where... Rambo is always running past like a wall of fire. Yeah. There are so many explosions in this movie. I'm trying to think of another movie that has that many like practical, big, fiery explosions all the time. It's like Rambo is born of fire. Basically, yeah. They're really going Mm -hmm. for it. It's like, if we're going to have an action scene, we're going to fucking blow everything up. And they do. I mean, it makes sense, though. There's like, was there two or three choppers? Was there... There were two. There were two. I think two, and then we do we get down to one. Yeah, because he blows but, one up uh, right, with, right, the, with right. the uh, what is the. But initially, initially, you got. I mean, there's two of them fully loaded with missiles, and it's a oh, small yeah. village, so the explosions make sense if they're yeah, just they obliterating fuck. the village. Mm-hmm. I fucked him up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This, of course, gives. Uh, well, Rambo makes it personal somehow for him. Well, he was going to the village to try and recruit the Mujahideen so that he could have a couple guys to go and bust Troutman out. Oh, yeah. And because and they're like, yeah, we'll help you or whatever. And then they get obliterated. And then he's like, I got to go by myself. Because, of course, Rambo's better on his own. Of course. Didn't have anyone else to drag him down. But what would make it better? A child sidekick. Naturally. Oh, right? This is, this is the era of child sidekicks? <laughs> it is. It is. It oh, is. Jesus. Indiana Jones. Thank you, Indiana Jones. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, that's got to be what it is, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, and Stallone was coming right off of over the top with his son sidekick yep. in that movie. Oh, yeah. So, yep. Did he have a kid at this point in his life? Is that what softened I him up? Think and said, so. I think he did. Yeah, because there was like a urban legend going around for a long time that the kid in Over the Top was his son, but it's mm. not. But yes, yeah, he had a, he had, did have children at this point. Maybe that's what it was. Mm-hmm. Or it's trying to appeal to the uh, you know core demographic. It just it softens him, you know, gives him a heart. Mm-hmm. They also give him a sense of humor in this one, which I don't know if that's a good move or a bad move. But, well, 
I mean, they kind of do. Kind like, of. in the a third act, it comes yeah. in. One's a lot of jokes. <laughs> like, two? three? Yeah. Well, it's got, like, two. Well, that's yeah. because you're saying those are the ones that maybe worked. But they there's there's more than that, <laughs> that they were laying in there. I think they were just like, uh, that was supposed to be funny. Yeah. You just see <laughs> What's this? everything with a straight face. Blue light. What's it do? <laughs> Turns blue. Mm-hmm. Come on, that's not, that's not, like, comedy gold? No, that's like on a level of wasn't there? Weren't we making fun of him and Cobra, where he's trying to he's trying to flirt and he's like picking up the giant hammer? Oh yeah, yeah. Shit. Your dinner's oh, ready. It's on, yeah, 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 it's on that level. Yeah, yeah, it's on that level. Well, like, the movies Whoa. do share a uh, screenwriter. Oh, do they? Sylvester Stallone. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. I totally yeah, forgot. I he mm-hmm. Did he write the other ones? Uh, he writes artists. everything he works on. In one way or another, he might not write the principal script, but he writes and edits if nothing does else. He, have he credit did. on the other one. I don't know why that yeah, that slips my mind mm-hmm. all the time. He's a co-writer, I believe, on the first one, and the second one he's a co-writer with James Cameron, who wrote the original draft, and then Stallone scaled away way back, took all the fucks out. Also, I noticed because mm-hmm. uh, oh. actually, I remember James Cameron said that he got the gig on Aliens. And the reason why it's the Colonial Marines and aliens is because his for his research for doing Rambo two, he had like immersed himself in the uh, the uh, Vietnam the American soldier in Vietnam. So all that you know the lingo was in his head, and so he just carried that over into aliens. Huh. Well, thank yeah, God. So there you go. Well, well you something go. good came out of Rambo three or Rambo two. Rambo two. <laughs> Aside from aliens. massive aliens. sales of big gigantic buoy knives. Was there a cereal? Yes. Is there a Rambo cereal? I'm sure there was. I don't know. <laughs> that I have. It seems like there was everything. Rambo 2 is pretty pretty good, Sean. I gotta watch it. Yeah. Rambo 2 is pretty good. Well, if it where, gave us Rambo cereal, I will watch it yeah. tonight. This is where Holly and I will uh, part company because I think Rambo 3 is a remake of Rambo 2, but done better. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like they share like the same beats, I guess, right? Where it's no, like they do. He's they got do. to go back in. He has a sidekick in Rambo too. That's uh, the um, the Vietnamese girl that he mm-hmm. partners up with. There's an evil Russian. Uh, there's there's a torture Russian. scene. Um, there's see. I feel like that's why I'm just like I've seen all this fucking shit before in Rambo too. Yeah. Well, you have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, I guess, to me, like, George P. Cosmatos' style in Rambo 2 is, like, so, I mean, the movie takes place in a jungle, and it's just, it's a very flat-looking jungle, where, like, the guy who directed this, which was, I think he was the uh, second unit uh, director on Rambo 2, like, actually moves the camera around, does better stuff with, like, his staging than Cosmatos does. Mm -hmm. So it's, and I like the Russian villain in this one, opposed to the Russian villain in the, uh, the other one. They always also have, I think you have to have in a Rambo movie, the uh, Russians' big henchman. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Who's the physical uh, match to Rambo? The muscle. Yeah. Yeah. You got to have the muscle. The giant one. Oh, you did Rambo 2 have that or it had the uh, Vietnamese captain? Mm, yeah. I don't remember. A, I don't remember a Russian dude. I remember the Vietnamese dude. Yeah. Maybe that was our two for villain combo. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, in this one, he takes uh, his um, trusty uh, Afghani companion and the little boy who's lost his entire family in uh, the war. And they're going to go bust Trotman out of this. um, It's a fort, but it's built on top of a mountain. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Which is cool, at least for a visual, um, you know, look of the thing. And... uh, so Rambo, his like plan is to like go in and just like blow a bunch of shit up, and he gets distracted. He's not able to do it the first time through. He can't rescue Troutman, right? And so he has to boogie back out of there. And then that's where he gets like injured and has to actually do the uh, the self uh, surgery scene. That I think is also like, uh, did they do that in Rambo too? He did it in the first he, one where he yeah. fell down out of the yeah. tree. I remember him tending a wound. I don't remember doing like a self surgery thing. I could be wrong. It's been a hot yeah, minute I since I saw pushing, it. Pushing. Well, I was talking about this one. Yeah. Did he do self surgery? I must have missed the. In the I first remember, one, remember he falls I out of the that. tree. Yeah. He has to sew himself up. Well, he's just talking. Oh, he, 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 yeah, he's just talking about how he pushes the arrow out and yeah, then he cauterizes it. The wound. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what you do when you're Rambo. Yeah. Well, sure. Can't bleed death. 
Yeah. It'd be a shitty way for Rambo to go. What would be a good way for Rambo to go? <laughs> How do we want Rambo to die? Let's figure that out right now. I think he, he just can't live forever. Him. Does he just walk off into the sunset and nobody ever sees him again? <laughs> That's pretty much what happens at the end of uh, Rambo. Rambo. He goes back home. You actually see him back in Arizona or whatever, going to his family uh, home. It says Rambo. Ooh, that feels like something mailbox. we shouldn't Does see. It? Yeah, that feels like like an intimate part of his life we should not see. Yeah, is he wearing like is he wearing like a pink shirt and like white pants and an old man hat? <laughs> yeah, I think he's wearing dad jeans. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> see that just, walking down the road. We shouldn't be like seeing that. See him in is he wearing like Columbia home? sandals. Yeah, and a North Face jacket. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. That would be kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> Modern day. We're going to get farm and fleet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. a I love that. Yeah, why doesn't he ever just go home? I mean, what the guy would be perfectly okay working in uh, farm and fleet, you think? Can't take all that psychology <laughs> home. They just start murdering people. Running the hunting section at Gander Mountain. Yeah. I love it. Right? <laughs> we got this, uh, got this knife over here. Well, I'm really looking at... No, you just need this knife. This knife, uh, this I mean, knife I've, does I've everything. i killed like 20 people with it. I know it's good. You should buy that. That would be... Gr- I'm- where, where's I'm our writing wh- ra- the next Rambo right now because I think this is it. Yeah, I, this I, is it. I was gonna say this it. sounds more like an SNL digital short. You know, it like does. Someone goes oh, to Gander Mountain and fucking Rambo selling Bowie knives there. Oh my god! <laughs> and, and he just he keeps talking about the knife, and then it just says the slow zoom in on him as he's going back to Nam. <laughs> yeah. They do flashbacks, <laughs> and they, they keep, the customer keeps having to snap him out of it. This is a, I like this. I don't know. <laughs> oh, see, I imagine he's channel flipping at home in his Arizona condo, right? In his dad jeans. And he, Crocodile Dundee is on TV, and he sees the, that's not uh, a knife. This is a knife, and he has flashbacks. <laughs> I want I want the shot of the back where he's tying, but he's tying an apron. <laughs> you know? To go? Like a utility apron? It's like a utility apron? Oh, God. I, oh, yeah, we need, God let's wonderful. copyright all this shit. All this. <laughs> Stallone ever hosted Saturday Night Live because if he ever does, I have ideas. Yeah, copyright it, Sean. Copyright it, Sean. It's an average show. Now you've given me an idea. We got to go back and look and see if he's ever done like a Rambo parody on Saturday yeah. Night Live. I feel like it had to have happened at some yeah. point, right? Yeah, it had, it had, to. It had there, to have. After being in the Rambo movies, he went on Saturday Night Live, I'm sure. Yeah. He has to have hosted right. it at some point. Right. We'll have to look into it. I don't know, do you let a man who can't speak English host Saturday Night Live? Saturday Night Live has no standards. Did you not know That's that? Very true. <laughs> That's Literally very true. anyone can host that show. But can he be funny? Do- doesn't matter. Does not <laughs> yeah, matter. I feel like he, he would be. I feel like he'd be one of those people that would be a guest host, and then he'd go off script, and they'd get really pissed and never invite him back. Probably. <laughs> Sean, have you ever seen Charles Barkley host Saturday Night Live? Oh God. No, I haven't. Oh, it's a. It is a disaster. Oh, <laughs> mm. I, a, a man that this? says terrible, uh, terrible. Yeah. yeah, he he just hosted a couple weeks ago. He's hosted okay. like five times. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. That that man cannot speak English, and they let him host. So. That's right, Charles. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm concerned. So about, I was gonna say I'm <laughs> concerned about the horses in this movie. They definitely killed some horses. They were really mean right? these horses. But There's a lot of explosions. I'm, very close to horses. Did you guys well, wait, at the end? Was there the uh, <clears throat> American I Humane? Yeah. I, I I felt like I saw a horse break its ankle on screen. Oh like, yeah, in the cave. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, it, you don't take horses in caves. Everybody knows that they they're not sure footed sure. like enough for that. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then they were like beating them, like really beating them. Well, how are they gonna learn, Probably. You don't beat a horse, Sean. <laughs> well, that and like the it. horses were constantly spooked, right? Like they're constantly Const- jumping around. And yeah, there was the fuck out we're there. in the game or just in, in the whole well, the whole like, movie. The whole movie. Going off, like, three that's feet my away from thing. Yeah, yeah, that's my <laughs> point. Is that like yeah, it is the a horses are, environment for horses? Yes, the, movie. the horses are constantly spooked in this movie. They're Poor constantly babies. jumping around and freaking the fuck yes. out. Yes, like even when we first see them ride horses for the first time and they're going up that mountain and it's that big wide shot. The horse that's at the front is like rearing up and like freaking the fuck out. And they're doing nothing but walking up a mountain. So, mm. like from the jump, the horses in this movie are like, "I'm, I can't this do this." Is like because they shot it like after they shot all probably. the explosive stuff, and the horses are like, "What? There's like, cameras <laughs> here. That means something's probably gonna blow up next to me." <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly. probably. Like, oh, I know what that means. Even in Lord of the Rings, they they said you you don't take horses into mines or caves because they can't walk through it, and they they turn their horses yep. loose in that movie when they go into the mines. Yeah, mm. bye, Bill. Yeah, yep. mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the mines no place for ponies, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 They literally, there's literally seen the movie of them taking like the the like saddle and like, yeah. harness off and then kick pushing them away. It was Bill. like mm-hmm. we can't take them in here because they people. they'll fucking break a leg and then they'll be you know a burden. 
Well, I assume it, some. Well, I don't know. I mean, like if you're in Afghanistan, I mean, again, mm-hmm. what do I know? But I, mean, I know that uh, the caves were used by, uh, you know, soldiers. Mm-hmm. I assume you take your horses in because if you leave them up top, then you're giving away your position. I guess, yeah. But I don't, they don't, it's a movie. They don't even show me that. <laughs> the horse lives, this is a folks. Movie. As far yeah. as we know, you know the horse lives. <laughs> there was camels at one point in this movie, so oh, you know why do some people have camels and some have horses? I that was camels, uh, camels are notoriously uh, mean and angry, so they're harder to have on camera. So it's just easier to get. It's horses. easier to tame yeah, a horse. Easier to, mm, easier to tame a horse. A horse yep. Yeah. I think. Well, I told you the story about where the American Humane Society. Like when they actually stepped in and said, "Like we're monitoring stuff on because they killed horses in uh, it was Heaven's Gate the movie." Oh yeah, that doesn't surprise me about that, actually, that movie. Yeah, I can't remember. They say that that footage is in the movie of the horse getting like blown, like they detonated oh, something, oh, and God. the horse Blew was horse there. Hunt? Yeah, but Shit. I mean, I've seen it, and I, you know, it's not. It doesn't call attention to itself if it is there. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that's what was missing from this movie: horses blowing up. Not. For real, but we're talking about they, they were like right next to it. Right they were, should have. No, I, I mean, we saw all up. but them blow up. You I know, we saw everything up. leading up to. I that. didn't want to. Why that's a thing. I, I didn't want a horse to blow up. Yeah, kind of did. I'd have been alright with it. Sean, I'm worried about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been a bad week. Holly. <laughs> <laughs> I want to catch the horse blowing up. I want. Okay. Again, not for real. Mm-hmm. Just you know. Mm-hmm. Well, they couldn't do CGI back then. But well, I'm I saying they could have been for real. Stuff, stuff, fake, horse. stuff a yeah. fake horse and blow it up. Put some stuff meat it in that with thing. the guts and blow it up. Yeah. Yeah, they, they stuffed a fake sheep for their fucking polo game. Oh, I <laughs> doubt that was fake. D- did you see it? Some of the scenes looked really fake. It looked, looked really, really real. fake. Well, yeah, but the, the wide shots, weirdly enough, looked look really different. real, but the close ups looked bad. The, the yeah. shot, any shot where you see it getting picked up, it was fake as hell. Because those are heavy. The one when Stallone scoops it up, that looked like a fucking Ikea rug. It did. It was it was like big and it oh god it was bad yeah it was shockingly clean you know like it was too clean to have been something that was being drug around in the sand yeah those are hardy uh afghani sheep yeah man they gotta live in some shit conditions. Oh, yeah. all right <laughs> those are sheep who haven't shaved for a week shorn shorn they weren't short right yeah shorn well, yeah. you shear sheep you shear yeah. sheep yeah. so it'd be shorn mm-hmm why would all you, right wouldn't you shorn your sheep more often in the desert i would think I think uh, I'd share it frequently. If you're a sheep farmer, please please tell us what the shorning schedule is like. I think we should this topic for at least 10 more minutes. <laughs> How <laughs> often do you thoughts. shear sheep? <laughs> yeah, right. And does it differ between Isn't territories? Isn't it like yeah. yearly or something like that? Or you get more than one... Uh, I, they let them go until they they're like can barely walk. Have you I ever mean, seen those? Yeah, you they get do. the whole buildup on them? Are Afghans made of sheep wool? I don't... They look furrier I, than... Uh, I don't know. I thought they possibly were... when I when I was in Ireland, they told us that the sheep there, like because of all the moisture in the air, their their fur, their wool is actually more coarse. So, like the sheep you see in Ireland are shorn, and like their wool is used to make insulation, not blankets or like anything nice. They said the nice stuff comes from like New Zealand and Australia hmm. that is like clothing and blankets. They might have so like, more like, like drier drier climates yeah. are better for softer wool, I guess. So and they might have like it's alpaca possible. and stuff out there. You're welcome, guys. Bet you never thought you were getting this. <laughs> like, we came for the killing and we got... Uh, you lucked yeah. into this. <laughs> Don't say we never right. taught you anything. Oh, wait, yeah. I have, I have a factoid. One. All right. One factoid. Okay. So, in the 1990 Guinness Book of World Records, uh-huh. Rambo 3 was hailed as the most violent movie ever made. Are you fucking kidding me? What? They chronicled 221 acts of violence... 70 explosions and 108 characters killed. Although the IMDb says it's 165. As someone who just watched this movie, I would never guess those numbers. No, is that why they did the count in in Hot Shots? Yes. Got it. Yes. Now I understand. What year was Hot Shots? It was 92. 92, I think. That makes sense. Uh, The latest movie ever. Okay. The most violent movie I'm getting Mm -hmm. ever made. 16 years ago. See. First Blood seems way more violent to me. You want to know how many- on a grander scale? Sure, I get that. Maybe First Blood seems like more personal. You know? Maybe. Yeah, because this is like impartial. Up close you get yeah, people are person blowing person. up inside of helicopters. Mm-hmm. Rambo's shooting people with explosive yeah. tipped arrows that blows them up and kill like scale, three people at a time. Sure. Um, if if Stallone was just like 
up close face to face stabbing that many people. That might seem a little mm -hmm. uh, more excessive, but I get it for this movie. He kills a helicopter with a tank. Like, not shooting it. <laughs> he does. He rams a helicopter he with a tank. Jaws that shit. Mm hmm. It's Which wonderful. we wonder why the tank or the helicopter was low enough for the helicopter to run into it, but mm -hmm. I, they were they weren't. It's chicken, and they were not backing down. Yeah, at a certain point, you just got to go all in. Oh, that's a Russian great scene. What do you like? They get up to the. I they like start him. going. To, and he's doing. Argh! Like I like smashing it. it. I think it's great. Oh, it's fantastic. Never seen that before. He doesn't actually. Holly use looks his, a little scared. He doesn't actually <laughs> use his knife like for. Violence very much. He's the first. It's, a, it's a utility knife. Yeah, he mostly. cuts fences. Yeah, he cuts <laughs> netting yeah. and fences yeah. with it mostly. Yeah, you use it to fucking when you're crawling around and you're for the mines, looking for mines. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is a sales pitch for that knife. Oh, I know. It, it's a commercial for that knife. Yeah. You know what was missing from it? No, he I, will be the top salesman at Gander Mountain. Yeah, yeah, hands yeah. down. <laughs> I think upstairs I have one of those knives. A much smaller version, unfortunately, because the size that that it's thing illegal. that we got is like three hundred dollars or something. Uh, in Rambo 2, they made a deal about the uh, compass on the top. That was a big selling point to a 12-year-old Like a Christmas kid. story, it's got a compass in the stock, huh? That's right. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> matches inside that are waterproof. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's sure. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's got a little flint Utility. Mm -hmm. it's got fishing line. Oh, yeah. The Rambo knife. Oh, yeah. Camouflage okay. or black. Mm -hmm. uh, Rambo 4, Rambo, Rambo. had 236 uh, people, persons killed. I didn't see it. Yeah, I haven't seen it, so yeah. I don't. They haven't. Nope. Nope. I did not want to go there. I hadn't. But when that came out, I hadn't seen any of them, so I was just like, Yeah, yeah same. Too. That was yeah. before I'd seen any stolen movies ever in my life. So shit. Had you seen this one before? Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. I have seen some. So you have caught up on yep. the Rambo's. Well, I just haven't seen the 2008 one. It's the only right. one I haven't seen. But yes. Okay. But you're familiar ones. with the mm -hmm. character and mm -hmm. seen the movies. Unlike poor Sean over here, mm -hmm. who's still slowly working his way through them. And he's like, I'm not going to see him. Oh, yeah, you will, Sean. That's <laughs> I might watch part two. You made it all sound uh, interesting. Well, part two does, like, the part where it comes alive is probably the scene that was shot by the second unit director who directed this one, oh. where uh, Stallone in the helicopter, like, takes his revenge on the Vietnamese camp, and there's a ton of explosions, and it's like, this looks like a scene out of Rambo 3. No, <laughs> Rambo 3 looks like that scene from Rambo 2. This is Rambo... Uh, Doing mass genocide okay, to so Vietnamese. Holly may have me on that point. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so the guy said, basically, this is what worked in Rambo 2. I'm going to make like a half a movie out of this scene. How about that? All right. All right. Got one. <laughs> so fighting over Rambos. Wait, who's the plane? Who's the tank? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I'm the tank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to learn my Russian. Um... I mean, I be okay, so that basically takes us to the end of the movie, right? What do we think of the uh, Rambo Troutman buddy war movie? Is it a buddy It war left movie? something yeah, to be together, desired. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it felt too little too late. Like, all right, you could have made this a buddy movie way earlier because it didn't feel like it. It just felt weird. I don't think it was trying to be a buddy movie until that no. point, right? And it's like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, at that point, yeah. I was like, why are you doing this now? What's the point? Yeah, especially because like all the jokes that start trying to happen mm -hmm. in the third act too. That I'm just like, why? Why now? Yeah, why all of a sudden now? they're trying to do this like repertoire. I'm like, what? What's the point of this? There's so, a worse nightmare line in this movie, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Uh, uh, yeah, what was? Nightmare. I was Who thinking about that. Like, what was? What was it with nightmare. 80s and 90s with the worst nightmare? That was like a big thing back then. Yeah, and there's the well done joke too. The well done joke. He uh, yeah. vaults yeah. through, or his stuntman vaults through. Uh, Two fiery blasts. Oh, yeah, and he got caught a little bit at the end there. Mm -hmm. That dude definitely got burnt a little bit. How you yeah, doing, he did. Mm -hmm. Well done. Or how you feeling? Well done. Yeah. 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 Hilarious. Bah! <laughs> Great delivery there, Stallone. <laughs> Love it. Did you just bah? <laughs> well, well, I was going, keeping on with our sheep. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. I'm with you. He was in a couple of comedies. I don't know if Rhinestone, Rhinestone, a comedy. <laughs> I know. I've seen yeah. Drive. Yeah. Okay. Which one? <laughs> I've seen Drive or whatever. Or driven? Driven, yeah. yeah. I've seen like, Driven. I was like, I was like Drive's a very wait, different wait, movie. <laughs> what about Teen Stop or My times. Mom Will Shoot? <laughs> that's, oh God, that that's might be a, a future. Movie. Stay tuned, that might be a Ooh, future pick. There you go. Tango and Cash, that's comedy. That's yeah, true. it is. He is playing. Oscar. Yep. Actually, Tango and <laughs> Cash, I think was the movie they did right after this. So here's the thing, right? This is, I guess, you know, thinking about like even how, how he changed his image after that. We're saying Die Hard came out only like a two months after this, and Die Hard changed the action genre. True, is that a fair statement? Yeah, I think so. I think so. 
every movie became Die Hard on a whatever for like the next X number of years. Mm -hmm. That's fair. And I think the big distinction is, it's like, you know, maybe you had, you know, first blood and the kind of rugged uh, survivalist kind of guy. And then Rambo two was the, you know, the bigger version of that. Right. But by the time Rambo three comes out, everybody gravitates towards uh, John McClane. John McClane's like just a regular guy. Right. He's He's every man. Yeah, he's vastly underqualified. He's like the opposite of Rambo. <laughs> right, he is not a weapon of war. He can get hurt. <laughs> he is not, yes. Yeah. He can bleed. Where Rambo seems like basically, like, even if he gets injured, he's still going to, you know, have the force of whatever. Uh, yeah, his, to his anger fuels through. him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he yeah. killed like 50 people after he got shot. So. Yeah. Holding man can power the gun through. sideways. I don't even know if that's possible, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Swimming in like shit water in a sewer with a gaping wound. Yeah. Oh, oh. God, Jesus. That's how John, Ram- that's how John Rambo dies. That's yep. absolutely infected. Uh, sepsis. sepsis. Is that yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Gangrene, all that yeah. shit. Yeah. He doesn't know it yet, but he's actually died like a couple days after the credits rolled. Yeah. <laughs> John Rambo died of sepsis. Yeah. Yeah. To thank the people that understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's ironic, I guess, seeing that uh, yeah, the because there's a, a, a thank you plaque mm-hmm. on the end of the movie dedicated to the valent people of Afghanistan. Uh, ironic seeing that after you know 2011, but uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> or 2001. Sorry, yeah. um, I was not going to say there was something else about at the end of this movie, and I lost it. Sheep. Well, there's always sheep. Mm. Sheep games. Sheep Quidditch. That didn't ring anywhere? Nope. Nope. Couldn't find the thread? Nope. Can't find it. <laughs> thread? Had nothing to do with Frank Stallone singing a song on the end of the no, second one that was on this one. I know. Why Please not? not. Yeah. Why not? I mean, come on. Your brother needs a job. Hire him. You know? The mm-hmm. song for the second one is called He's Not Heavy, He's My Brother. <laughs> what? The, the, that was the song at the end of this one? Oh, that was this one? Yeah. What the hell is he He's singing at the end of the second one, then? I don't remember. This wasn't Fra- uh, Frank Stallone, though, Mm-mm. right? No, was it like no. Eddie Money or something? I don't know. There wasn't Eddie was. Money, was but weird. I don't know who it was. It was really weird. It should have been the Hollies who originally did it, but whatever. It's fine. Was it the guy who sang that song from Dirty Dancing with that girl? Oh. Um, <laughs> I've had the time oh, like of my hung- life. Hungry Eyes? No. That's the dude from The Righteous Brothers. That was definitely that not him. him. No. Okay. Gross. This this credit song high, was right? <laughs> wildly unremarkable. It it was nothing to be noted. That's for sure. Maybe Frank Stallone sings "It's a Long Road, but it's hard as hell" from First Blood. I think so. That, that, that right. yeah, I that think so. Right. I think okay. so. It's Set to the awesome Jerry Goldsmith Rambo theme. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It has lyrics. Who knew? All right, so we want to wrap this up. You got anything else to talk about Rambo 3 before we do mailbag and do our wrap-ups? I don't think so. I think that's it. This is like the most it. like lethargic. Like We watched an explosive action movie on a <laughs> Sunday, folks, and everybody's asleep. Mm-hmm. Sean actually, I think, did sleep a little bit I through the movie. I close my eyes for a minute there. <sighs> yep. Uh, so, I guess, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's yeah. summon Igor. <laughs> Igor, bring us the mail. <laughs> Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. I had to go get the mail. Igor was also asleep. Yeah. He didn't even don a bandana for this. He just stayed in bed. I feel like he does have a Bowie knife somewhere, though. Oh, that that makes me a little worried because that's like half the size of him. No, he has weapons hid all over this basement. Yeah, I've seen him practicing All over this basement. Wait, is there like like (laughs) knives taped under this table or anything? Oh, shit. I better keep my hands up. If you hit it in the middle, they pop out. (laughs) There is a sigh under this bar. (laughs) Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. I mean, at least he's prepared for anything, you know? Oh, he's ready. He doesn't know how to use any of them, but he's ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He'll try. <laughs> you know? He'll do his best. Well, let's like, remind like people yeah. <laughs> how they can get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And on Instagram. Saturday Night Freak Show. First up, about Rambo 3. Sea Huds writes in. Sea Huds! He says, I've seen, I saw Rambo 3 in the theater, but I haven't watched it since. I didn't really like it nearly as much as 2 at the time, but mm. probably I should revisit it. Mm. <laughs> Stay Always tuned for uh, uh, <laughs> We're coming two down together, in two camps Chats. on this. Uh, so Steve Coat 
Roots writes in and says, uh, Rambo 3 is better than the second one. It's worse than First Blood. Rambo 3 felt like a two-man army. First Blood was a sociological film about Vietnam and post-traumatic symptoms. I agree completely. Hmm. Stay tuned for wrap-ups. Right, uh, <laughs> best. Mm. <laughs> About last week's episode, In Time, Brent Attica writes in and says... Attica! 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 Attica. <laughs> he says he was so excited to listen to this episode. I've got a big soft spot for the film. I hope you guys aren't too savage. I don't, I don't think we were I don't too think hard. We were, no, 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 I don't think we hard. were. No. We pointed out a lot of good things and yeah. bad things about that movie. We were fair if, to if it. nothing else, we got some great ideas from it. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. You know... <laughs> For when we remake and yeah. we recognized its strengths, That's yeah, sure. I think it was a fair assessment. Mm-hmm. Uh, about the our episode on the island of Doctor Moreau, Tony Genoway writes in, and he says, "Great podcast, and this movie's been a curiosity of mine for ages, both train wreck film and documentary. It's not often though when just five words alone make eighty minutes of listening completely worthwhile." And he quotes, "The Russians were in Afghanistan." <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We don't claim to be historians here. You know, I had no idea. I'm <laughs> you know, I, I Sean, no I don't know my, I don't know my war history very well either. So no, I'm with you I on that. I don't know who's been where. Mm-mm. Well, this is why you have the Saturday Night Freak Show, folks. Providing That's what you got out of that episode. Service. That was about Rambo Three. Yeah, uh, but that was the like at the. End. I know, yeah. but I'm saying out of that episode about a different movie, it was about the next week's episode. <laughs> yeah. One line. Awesome. <laughs> um, TGS 12371. Cool. Yeah. The 12371 says, For the record, the island of Dr. Moreau, nobody cares about this movie. Brandon, uh, Brando will always be Vito Corleone, while Kilmer will always be Doc Holliday, seeing as how they were at the peak of their respective careers during those films. I would have rather watched Roseanne Barr sing the national anthem <laughs> for the duration of this film than actually have watched the film a second time. I actually forgot Kilmer and Perlman were in this train wreck. South Park does a great parody of this film. And yes, there is a connection between Brando and Michael Jackson, as Brando appeared in Michael's You Rock My World video, along with Shit. Chris Tucker. Mm. Now he says, uh, enough That's with a combo. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tucker. The only Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson could make happen. Yeah, you know? seriously. That sounds like a Prince video. Well, he says, enough of the rant. I do apologize again to uh, Holly for posting on her personal Instagram page. <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you. And with that said, the Saturday Night Freak Show is an awesome, as awesome as always. Keep up the great work, everyone. And if the show takes listener picks, check out Apex. Apex. Okay. We'll put it awesome. on our list. We got lists. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was actually going to add to that. I'm st- I, th- I feel like I want to start doing movies like Dr. Moreau that we just are like, how have we not done this movie? So if there's a movie that you're like, how the fuck has Freak Show not done this movie? Let us know because I'm going to start taking those. Feel free. Oh, okay. So I, you're gonna I, you're gonna feel, or should we set aside a month or whatever for a listener? We'll um, figure I, out. I'll we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll but, figure yeah. it out. I'm just saying, like, start sending them in because I know I want to start picking them. I don't know if we all will. I'm gonna we'll start see. Writing in the baby. The baby. Yeah, I'm <laughs> start writing in. I think I think sometimes with movies that are very like legendary like that, mm-hmm. we worry that there's not enough time to like hit all the important points, mm-hmm. especially if there's a documentary yeah. that's very thorough, always made about it. Sometimes absolutely. That, sometimes that makes us a little afraid to kind of grapple with it. Yes. But if you Agreed. want to talk about it, please tell us. Exactly, because I want to be like, you know what? Because I, I agree with Michaela entirely. I think that's been a part of it, but I want to say, fuck that. Let's do those fucking movies. Mm-hmm. So write in. And I know that a lot of people have been messaging us uh, just like the stories about how they found us and like how they relate to us. And mm-hmm. I know we had a recent one. Uh, someone recommended uh, Samurai Cop. So thank you for that. Mm-hmm. We will That's consider right. that. Our, we got it's, lists going. It's on my list. I, it, I'm taking that into consideration. Didn't we watch that? Wasn't that uh, with uh, Dolph Lundgren and uh, no. Showdown a Little Tokyo? That was Showdown a Little Tokyo. It felt like Samurai I know, Cop. I know. <laughs> So thank you for that recommendation. Just know that if we don't read your messages, it's because we can't read everyone's long messages on here. So we're just taking short comments, but we are acknowledging you. Mm -hmm. Uh, So thank you. Please keep sending them in. We love reading them, but we may not read them all on air. Thanks. I I would like to add, (laughs) 
Before we get on mail- mailbag real quick, um, one of our longtime listeners, William Douglas, got engaged this weekend. Oh. Uh, at oh. Texas Frightmare Weekend, they did oh, a photo nice. they did a photo op with all the Jasons in costume and he proposed to his girlfriend Trish and on like in the photo with all the Jasons. That's, That's congratulations. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, cool. man. We are super happy for you and so that, happy. What a fucking awesome way to propose That's to your girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. I'll never forget That's that one. So, so great. Mm-hmm. Wasn't there a little Jason there too? Like a part three? Like it was a kid? Uh no, but they had like there was literally like eight people in this picture though like, it was, it, that's I'll, so I'll show cool. you the picture when we're off mic but it, so it cool. was yeah it was super exciting and she's super stoked because she loves horror movies just as much yeah. as all of us do yes so. and please and feel free to send us those updates we love hearing about that kind mm-hmm. of thing that's awesome so cool yeah so congratulations guys yeah well, well alright so that brings us to the most exciting part of the show I know you've been waiting for this all night long at least this show <laughs> The wrap ups, where you're going to find out what we each thought of tonight's movie, starting with Michaela. What'd you think about the third Rambo movie titled Rambo 3? Uh, I, so I'm not very well versed in this franchise because, um, like we've talked about before, I'm, I'm new to Stallone in general. So uh, I, I, mean, I never thought I'd hear someone say that. <laughs> 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 um, but. I, I think like it has some really good moments and some good action sequences. I think unfortunately it takes too long to get to those moments and the plot kind of grinds to a halt at times for mm-hmm. seemingly no reason. Um, I mean, I think Stallone is doing what he always does the best that he can with what he's working with. Um, but I don't, I don't know if I would recommend it just because it, it does seem to move very slow, especially mm-hmm. for the runtime. Um, like I said, I'm not very well versed in this franchise, so I can't recommend one movie over another because I just really don't know enough about them to to do that. I prefer Stallone when he's at his when he's taking himself really seriously in a movie he shouldn't. Um, sure, I, I prefer when the over movie, the top the movie's insane, <laughs> but he's still taking himself really seriously. That's how I like to yeah. see Stallone. I don't like to see him take himself really seriously in a movie that is also equally as serious. So this is not the spectrum of Stallone that I prefer. Mm-hmm. So for that reason, I would not recommend it. Uh, I would like to. Uh, I forgot to point out he was wearing a Canadian tuxedo at one point in this movie that I thought was hilarious. Head to toe sure denim. Was. Uh, he should have uh, like which it was for like one scene though and then mm-hmm. it was gone because you know he's got to be shirtless mm-hmm. or the tank top you know or that's the, it. the half shirt yeah the half shirt. he had the half yeah. shirt on at one point um it's great. But yeah I, I don't think I would recommend Rambo 3 just because uh it's it's pacing is not good and I don't think the payoff is enough to sit through the pacing uh Holly what do you think yeah no I I think I think you're right on point with that um it actually reminded me a lot of how we felt about Delta Force it it hit those it hit those moments at the tail end that we wanted, but it wasn't enough to fill the whole movie. Like we, I want beginning to end Stallone moments, you know, like I want the rocket launcher and the fucking Bowie knife. Like I want that start to finish. That's what I want from Rambo. Um, and I just didn't feel like this movie really delivered on it as much as I would have liked. I was really shocked about the death toll. Didn't see that coming at all because it doesn't seem like a super violent movie, to be honest, in comparison to other ones. Um, yeah, It's I, not really gory. It's not no. gory. That's yeah. it. That's it. It's not gory. So you don't really th- see those moments as being like acts of violence because they just like, okay, he died, but you didn't really see him die. Um, so yeah, I, I can't really I can't really say that I, I recommend Rainbow 3. Um, I think I prefer in consecutive order. I think I like one, two, three. Um, so yeah, that's Rambo for me, Sean. Well, uh, Rambo is just uh, Rambo's not my dude. He's never been my dude. I've always been. I'm there for Rocky, but I've never, never got into the Rambo character. Um, this movie to me, I don't know. Maybe it's just the day. I don't know. It's on the back of this says this intense, heart pounding adventure boasts unrelenting action and suspense from start to finish. I didn't feel. Any of that in yeah. this movie. It uh, it wasn't exciting to me. I don't know what. I don't know if it's just something like I've seen this some 50 million times. Um, and if the action's not getting to you, you look to the story and the story's just like, okay. I mean, maybe I don't uh, care about Rambo at this point. Mm-hmm. Like where he's at in his life. You know, that he's got to go back in for one more mission. I don't, Do you think uh, you would have cared if you had seen the first two? I mean, I've seen the first one. In a while? It was like two years ago I watched the first one. Okay. I like that one. Okay. But that one feels like we said it's on a smaller scale. Yeah, yeah. And um I I wanna I wanna watch two, but 
I don't know. It's been kind of a chore to get me to watch any of these to begin with. So <laughs> that'd be one I'd borrow from you and then have for a month and be like, yeah, I finally watched it. <laughs> well, the first one has not only uh, Troutman, but it's also got Brian Dennehy. So you've oh, got yeah. like this kind of oh, triangle true. that I yeah. think the two really good actors help out the physical actor in yeah. Stallone. Dennehy does good in that movie. Yeah. He's a good fucking asshole. Um, but yeah, not exciting to me. Um, anything they do well in this movie, I've seen done well before. Um, it's uh, probably one of those cases where if I had seen it <laughs> when I was two back in 1988, I would have loved it. <laughs> um, but I'm going to pass on Rambo 3 uh, with a uh, maybe a watch Rambo 2 in there. So I'm going to pass on that one. Colin. Boy, I, I don't know it. what happened tonight because uh, <laughs> clearly you saw a different movie than I did. Uh, I watched this a uh, month or so ago, and then I was like, I got to bring this to the goddamn freak show. And then I think, you know, Sean sealed it when he said he didn't yeah. realize that the Russians were in Afghanistan. I'm like, well, we got to watch <laughs> Rambo 3. Things, yeah. <laughs> um, but when I watched it, uh, I was watching it with a buddy of mine two months ago, and we were laughing our asses off the whole way through it and talking through it. And it was a really lively experience. And it was like, you know because you're saying that you're taking it seriously i get that the movie is and was serious at the time we were not taking it seriously that night and it was awesome uh and so i think that's kind of where rambo lives it's like yeah the movie's trying to be all dramatic but it's ridiculous this is a one man you know killing machine it goes in and blows everything up um so then i'm watching it tonight and i'm just like you can sean's sleeping <laughs> And it's just kind of this, I was like, resting my eyes. You know, I was trying to like, yeah, he's doing this, and like nobody's biting, and I'm like, okay, so it's just an off night or something. Maybe it's the movie. Okay, you know, it could be. Um, I think this is uh, it, as a remake of First Blood Part Two, which I'm saying basically, you know, once you get to uh, you, you, you get these formulas in movies where they just sequels are basically remakes of mm -hmm. you know what they did before. They change the location, they change the you know political dynamic. But basically, it's the same movie. It's, it hits, you know, a lot of the same beats. Uh, for my money, I think Rambo 3 is a better shot, better directed, more explosive. It's got better action. It's a bigger version of Rambo 2. And I get what Holly's saying. If you saw Rambo 2 and you're like, okay, then maybe Rambo 3 does feel like a retread. But uh, like I said, I think if I had to pick between the two of them, I'd say it's uh, uh, Rambo 3. over. So it's First Blood. Then Rambo three, then Rambo two, and then then Rambo, which uh, you know left a good impression, uh, like a, a semi good impression when I saw it in the theater. Like I said, the body count at the end of that thing, and then you watch it again, and it's like this movie sucks. The writing's <laughs> terrible, and it's like what happened? It's the same screenwriter, but um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I th the pacing to me, I guess it did feel um, action packed uh, this time. You know, watching it through your guys' eyes, it's like okay, there is like a lot of. Um, you know, uh, well, I was going to say drama, but you got to use that in quotation. But it's a fucking Rambo movie, right? <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of lightly sketching. It's like, here's the here's the um, sociological problem, you know, in this area of the world. And we're going to drop Rambo and he's going to solve it all with a fucking bazooka and a hunting knife and a, you know, bow and arrow. Um so I mean, you know, I guess it's you know how seriously can you can you take that? But it did seem to flow. There's a lot of explosions, which I know normally I'm saying in movies is like, oh, they're doing they're doing is throwing all this kind of eye candy at you. So you get the idea that there's a lot of movement and stuff like that. This is the epitome of that kind of thing. Um, and so I guess for its simplicity, I really I dig this one. And I, and you know, again, having just watched it again uh, recently before tonight, I was like struck by, I'm like, man, this is uh you know since we had watched delta force uh, not too long ago and we were saying like you know the what what i remembered of delta force i think is rambo 3 you know it's like the bigger budget this is the professional one mm. delta force was like the hey we want to try and do something like you know which i guess was mission missing in action or it whatever. reminded me a lot of delta force yeah it really did yeah with the what's his name not Chuck, Chuck, I know Chuck Norris. Norris. No, I'm talking oh, Lee about Marvin? His, Lee Marvin. Yeah, yeah, Lee Marvin. Oh, as yeah, Colonel yeah, Trotman yeah, yeah, or yeah. something? Basically, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you got to go into the rescue the hostages, I suppose, yeah. No, um, I should rephrase it. It reminded me of Delta Force after they're off the plane. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. There's two movies there. There's two that. movies there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I would totally recommend uh, Rambo 3. If you haven't seen it in a while, you should go back and check it out. Form your own opinion, I guess, and... Uh, and see if it uh, holds up, doesn't, or, you know, whatever. But I mean, and I think it's also kind of, uh, 
you know, historically significant in the action movie pantheon only because it kind of, uh, it, I suppose Die Hard is the, the socially, the culturally mm-hmm. significant one. But it's like, if you go into a little off the de- <laughs> little detour off the path, like, it's oh, like, look, Rambo 3. what were they doing right before that? They were doing, you know, Rambo 3 was the last hurrah, really, of the, uh, the quippy, you know, beefy 80s one man army uh, movies. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the time you get to Universal Soldier, that's why that movie's never really done it for me. Because like, we're kind of past this now. Universal and, uh, Soldier's never done it for you. Uh-uh. Oh man, what? Yeah, I don't like that movie. Fuck! <laughs> Didn't we do that on this show? <laughs> don't know. It was like awesome for so. like twenty minutes, and then it sucks for the rest. That's about yeah. But uh, Lundgren wears a ear yeah. necklace in that movie. Hear me, soldier. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I love Dolph Lundgren. I think we did that. I may, like, I may not have been here. I yeah. Been here. Um, so that's a uh, thumbs up for me on Rambo 3. So it's not Freak Show approved. But next week, we're probably going to watch something that is Freak Show approved I because it's going to be chosen by... Sean! I wish I had a fail stamp. <laughs> Sean, what are we watching next week? I think that's my pick. Uh, it, yep. it, yeah, we sure just said is. your name. Yeah, we're sure watch. is. He has no idea he's making up right now. Robert Rodriguez is the faculty. Oh, shit. Right. I was just thinking about that today. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Stay tuned. Join us, because we're actually going to be recording on a Saturday. (laughs) What? For the first time. I know. Uh, So that'll be next week on the Freak Show, and uh, join the circus. It should be something like that, right? we got to work like Freak. Join the Freak Show menagerie. That's horrible. Stick with us. Wow. That was was as exciting as Rambo 3. All right.